week. Happy Monday. I am so excited. Boys and girls, I get to share this awesome book with you. It's called The Three Little Engines. Shout out to Mrs. Frolov. She heard of this book this summer and then went and ordered it and said, oh my gosh, Mrs. Care, you have to read this to the school for Start With Hello Week because it's such a good book about different stories and different journeys and including people and helping out. So Mrs. Frolov asked me to read this. I'm really excited to read it. Um, when I got it and looked at the cover, I'm like, oh, look what it says. It says the little engine that could. And that was one of my favorite stories when I was little because I love when the engine, if you've read the little engine that could when you were little, when the engine says, I think I can, I think I can, I think I can. That's one of my mottos when things get hard and I feel like I got to give up. I always go back to, I think I can, I think I can, I think I can. As I read this story today, Three Little Engines, I want you to be thinking about the characters in the story, and I want you to be able to make a connection. Because the characters in this story, they all have to go on a journey, and they all have the same goal. The goal is to get up this hill. But if you notice, they're all very different. They all are on different tracks, and they're all going to have different experiences. And as I read, I made a connection to one of the experiences that one of them had to one of my own experiences, one of my own experiences, all right? So as we're reading, remember what I said, think about the characters, think about how you could make a connection from this book to your own life and your own experience. Here we go, The Three Little Engines. Graduation day was finally here. The three little engines were excited to take their final test of engine school, making their first solo trip over the mountain. And a solo trip means they have to take it all by themselves. On the other side of the mountain, their teacher, the rusty old engine, waited to greet them with their friends and family. Each engine took their place on a, on a different track, waiting for their turn to be called. I don't know about that author calling this teacher the rusty old engine. What is up with that? Good thing we don't have any rusty old engine teachers here. On track one whistled the cheerful and plucky little blue engine. On track two puffed the fast and confident yellow passenger engine. And finally, on track three, chugged the strong and fiery red freight engine. The station master called to the little blue engine. You're up first. Are you ready? Yes, ma'am, she replied. And off she went. The sun was shining brightly as the little blue engine rounded a few bends and continued toward tall green pine trees. When she came to the steepest part of the mountain, she wondered whether she could make it to the top. Up, up, and up, the little blue engine climbed, chugging, say it with me. I think I can, I think I can, I think I can. And before she knew it, she did. Merrily, she puffed down the mountain, reaching the village without any trouble. The rusty old engine met her at the bottom of the hill. Congratulations, he said, you made it. Everyone in the village cheered and her lights beamed brighter than they ever had before. She was so proud that her hard work had paid off. Man, that engine is feeling proud. She set to reach her goal and she reached it. Back at the train terminal, the station master called to the yellow passenger engine. Are you ready? Yes, ma'am, he bellowed, and off he went. The journey on track two had more twists and turns. He snaked sharply around big boulders and rumbled over bumpy ground. Look at that track. As a passenger engine, he was pulling lots of cars behind him. Hmm. The little blue engine didn't have to, didn't have to pull any cars behind him. He made it up several smaller slopes, chugging. I think I can, I think I can, I think I can. But he grew very tired. By the time he got to the steepest stretch, 
near the top of the mountain. Dark clouds began to cover the sun. Then suddenly strong winds and heavy rain started to blow the passenger engine back. Oh my goodness. As he tried to push forward, he chattered, I, I, I think, think, think I can, can, can't. He could not go another inch. Exhausted, he stopped in his tracks, smoke slowly sputtering from his stack. The red freight engine who had been waiting anxiously to follow her friends was now up. Are you ready? Called the station master. Yes, ma'am, she chugged and off she went. Her journey on track three had a much steeper path to the top of the mountain. She traveled up and down the many slopes, chugging loudly. I think I can, I think I can, I think I can. The whole entire way. As a freight engine, she was pulling cars that were filled with big, heavy machines. And when she came to the steepest stretch of all, she had to puff and puff her way up the mountain. But looking off into the distance, she could see something was in her way. As she got closer, she realized that a large tree had fallen on her track. With the red freight engine's path blocked, she came to a full stop. The village seemed so near, but she could not push past the fallen tree. Hissing softly, the freight train sadly realized, I cannot graduate now. In the village, the little blue engine waited for her friends. She wondered what was taking them so long. She called out, what's the matter? Why did they stop? Did they quit? The rusty old engine came up beside her and said, they aren't quitting. Maybe they have gone as far as they can go right now. The little blue engine was confused. But I made it here, why can't they? The rusty old engine smiled. Close your eyes and think back on your journey. How many twists and turns were there on your track? A few. Did you face any wind and rain? No, she said. The sun was shining and I guess there was a little wind at my back. How many steep stretches did you have to climb? Counting in her head, she remembered. Just the one. How heavy was your load? A little embarrassed, she said quietly. Well, I wasn't asked to pull any other cars. Was there anything blocking your track? No, it was clear. But I did work hard to get over the mountain though. I thought I could, I thought I could, and I did. Of course you did, the rusty old engine agreed. The little blue engine sat quietly for a moment, thinking about how her journey might be different from that of her friends. And then a little light went on in her heart. My friends worked really hard too, but they got stuck. Just because you think you can, doesn't always mean you will, does it? No, it doesn't, replied the rusty old engine. Some engines make it here and others have things that get in their way, no matter how hard they try, continued the little blue engine. I wonder, is there anything we can do to help them? Smiling at each other, the two engines chugged. I think we can, I think we can, I think we can. And so they did. Over the hills, into the rain, and past the trees. Until finally, all three engines came rumbling down the mountain.
in the end. And the one smiling at the end is the old rusty train. What a good story. All this time, all of these kids over the past years have heard about the little blue engine, but nobody really heard about the yellow engine or the red engine because they didn't get to the top of the mountain. But if you notice in this story, they didn't have the same track. They didn't have the same journey that the little blue engine had. So I noticed in this story that the little blue engine got to the finish line and he said, where's everybody? Why did they stop? What are they doing? Where are my friends? And the lesson that the little blue engine learned in this story is that you gotta look around. Notice your friends, notice other people. Notice that other people have different journeys than you. So that's why Ms. Frolov decided that our theme for Start With Hello Week should be take a look around. Notice your friends. Notice what other people may need. Notice when somebody needs help. I hope you're able to think about a connection to this book. I know that when I read this book, I thought about a connection in my life. I like to run races. Um, I like to run and work out with my friends. And when I run a race, I don't always run it alone. I usually run it with somebody else. And if I run it with my one of my friends or a group of my friends, the best part about the race is when we get to the finish line, just like the little blue engine did. But I rarely ever finish all by myself because what I really like about racing is being able to cross the finish line with someone I know, knowing that we worked hard to reach our goal together. And when I get to the finish line, I'm like the little blue engine. If my friends aren't there, I look around and I'm like, where are they? What happened? Because I want them to succeed too. So today, this week, and all throughout the school year and through the rest of your life, I want you to always think of the three little engines. And I want you to think, how can I look around to help somebody else in need? Maybe you can just start with hello.